Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna start over because my camera from my lap, not laptop, my camera from my camera, my camera, its battery lasted all for like 2.5 seconds. Maybe it's just the lens that's dirty. No, the camera's just crappy. Okay. Um, so I'm doing an unboxing and I unboxed something from Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living and something else that I forgot that I got from Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living and she sent me a vintage happy birthday card because she's just you know cool like that I guess maybe I should turn and face the camera but I'm embarrassed of my my shirt oh good my hair is unbrushed it's covering it up all right thank you hair um to wish you a happy birthday, hoping the whole year through will be just as nice as it can be in every way for you. Isn't that clever? And it says, for you, on the front, happy birthday. <laughs> and then she said, don't have a cow, man. Well, she didn't say that, Bart said that, but she sent that. And it's got a Bart stamp on it, on top of Bart. It says, thanks so much, Elizabeth Michelle from Comfy Cozy Living. At heart, Bart is a good kid with a few bad ideas, a couple of really bad ideas, and one or two that are still being reviewed by attorneys. How do you know my life? Um, <laughs> anyway, this first item I got, and I'm starting over, so I don't know if I already said this, is what we know as the Tuscany boy. He's gonna go perfectly in my house. Um, I'm gonna have to find him a girlfriend or not. He can just be my boyfriend and like watch me from the side of the bed. He's got really cool features and is neato. I wonder what he used to be attached to. But anyway, he's cool as cool as I don't want to say the word I was going to say. And then, since I have this like old giant furniture in my home, I could use a hardware uplift. I figured I would use this for my pencil drawer. And it is a beef, hard piece of hardware. Get a close up of that guy. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully it fits the holes. If not, you know me, I'll make it work. Okay. Um, another thing I got that I had already unboxed because part of it was a book I wanted to give my dad was from Miss Pamela. Pamela Blanchard is the name of her channel. She is the funniest reseller in the world. And she resells on Saturday nights. And my part of the order was this lovely made in crambo. Sloy S L E W N Kia. Slinkia. And it's a beautiful lusterware double handled boss and I am going to keep that for my personal collection as well as what I got from Michelle all right had to reset the dog was having a tantrum oh there's a rainbow in my hair okay let me not lose my train of thought okay next unboxing is from you, the other two most hilarious ladies in my life, Sam makes the best facial expressions, while Sarah, their mother-daughter team, I'm sure you all know who Sam and Sarah are from Thrift You, and I got to get my hands on this lovely, lovely Halloween box, and like, in the middle of them showing it, I forget what I had to get up and do, but I missed part of them showing it. 
And when I came back, I was like, ooh, that's cool. So I started trying to win it, and I did. And so I don't know what some of the stuff is in here. Oh, you guys tape like me. I'm glad I have this tape cutter for my tape dispenser handy. And I'm going to have to use it on the other side. Oh, and there's a sticker on the box that says, Happy Halloween from Thrift You, Sarah and Sam. So, they're cool like that. Um, the other night, <laughs> Sarah and Sam were on Fat Bird Finds, and Sarah was telling the story of her friend Whitney and the Cadillac, and the 4th of July, and like, I laughed until my stomach hurt, I just couldn't take it anymore, and the wheelchair, <laughs> and... Yeah, dude, I know what it's like to have that one friend with the mom that's, like, connected with the DEA, except in my day, only the one friend got away with everything and got it off the record, not the whole everybody and everyone. Oh, it's the coveted glass box. Don't light the black flame candle. And they use packing peanuts, which will be reused and loved. Thank you very much. Some people hate packing peanuts. I personally find them useful. I also find air pockets to not be so useful, but I do use them. Bubble wrap, very useful. Thanks for the bubble wrap. Um, packing paper, very useful. Newspaper, very useful. I use a little bit of everything when I pack. I like to wrap my items in the packing paper and then bubble wrap the packing paper. And then stuff the box with newspaper. And then top it with packing pink. Who really cares, right? But we're like, we've seen people do packing videos. Um... And then now I've learned I have to double box everything because USPS. You know how like two year olds sometimes like if they don't get their way they have a tantrum. That's a little bit what's going on with USPS. And just as like a waitress for several, 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 several years. We haven't had a race since 1993. So, I mean, you know, we worked off a tip, it's a little different, but we also didn't get holidays off. And we didn't also have some guy making bad deals with big companies that are taking all the profits, which are now affecting smaller business retailers. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. Because then everybody's got their own opinion. And you know what they say about opinions. Anyway, our male people here are great. It's male people in certain areas that I'm learning um, are out to get our packages and get them good. I still haven't opened that one they broke for you guys. I had styrofoam bumpers. I had packing pillows. I had multiple layers of bubble wrap. I had packing paper, packing peanuts, I had all. I mean, they would have had to, to slam this box down and jump on top of it several times and then hosed it down with water, which is what it looked like they did. So, enough about that horror story. That's why when people are like, I pack things so great, I've never had anything break. Well, in my over 500 items that had never broken that I had mailed out, it wasn't until the recent UPS tantrum that's been going on that I've had items break. But anyway, y'all, I really, like, <laughs> don't 
I talk about whatever, you know. I mean, people are gonna hate you, they're gonna hate you. People are gonna like you, they're gonna like you. I personally like everybody. There may be some things I disagree with about with everybody, but that's just me. Okay, first of all, wait, wait. Creepy baby with luxurious lashes. And I'm sure they like to say they're not creepy. Oh my god. She didn't want to dance with an arm. And her creepy boyfriend, and he has dancing arms, except his don't go side to side, his go front to back. <gasps> What's that thing people do? I, I can't remember. But anyway, these <laughs> two babies, and I love them. One's creepy, and one's creepy with hair. And they have belly buttons. And butts. I like them. And then I've got some Razzle Dazzle Shenangly Shiny Ribbon And this beautiful glittery spider which like I am an arachnophobia I can't live in a house that has a spider My dad always told me it's bad luck to kill a spider And I always tell myself what do you call it when you get bit by a spider And then some more Razzle Dazzle French and some more Razzle Dazzle Ribbony Meshy Tone stuff. And some more Arachnophobia. Fake spiders don't scare me, it's the real ones. Well, I lie. If you ever see the movie Arachnophobia, those are snakes. Snake spiders. Fake spiders. And that is the only movie that will make me scream and jump like a little girl. And like, I watch The Exorcist at 3 in the morning by myself, home alone with the lights off. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. And if I only had a kid, I would make them a, an orange festive bow. And then Sarah's getting pretty good at dyeing doilies. And so these will definitely come handy in my new house. Um. I know I'm supposed to make a Halloween decoration out of it, but I'll do that and then I'll use them. And then here's another dyed doily. And it's pretty awesome. It looks like um Oh my god, why can't I think of the name? The thing with the one eye. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. And then another one of those guys with the one eye. Omni, Opti, I don't remember the word. It's hard having brain troubles. Oh my god. And then if I had a kid, I'd make the bow. And I'd be like this. But I don't. And I won't. But I'm gonna make something cool. Oh, 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 oh. Did y'all know what color I picked for the walls in my house? White and sage. Do you know what this is? This is very close to the color I picked for my house, so I don't make a beautiful dresser scarf. Oh! <laughs> it's freaking not sequins, rhinestones. It's a bag of rhinestones. It's like a bag of treasures. Oh my god, you know how much jewelry I could repair with this? How much fun I could have. I could wear a new rhinestone with my third eye every day. Oh my god, it's got jewelry. Oh my god. And it's pretty jewelry. Malachite. And amber. And... I'm not sure if that's dyed halide or turquoise. And the big, beautiful amethyst center. And you're all jealous. That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you guys. And some more jewelry pieces. Cause how did they know I was a jewelry crafter? 
was being past tense being I have boxes that I need to get to but I'm not allowed to have a life just yet um oh my god and these pieces they go on a bracelet that's gonna become awesome more pieces Ooh. what is that cut called baguette I don't know but I get to be fancy with some jewelry oh owl I have to make somebody an owl necklace like what is it owls and strawberries in the live sales people go nuts over and I love this owl, of course, because it came from Sam and Sarah. But I don't really have, like, you know, they like give a hoot to play it. Well, I'm like, I don't really give a hoot about owls or strawberries, so I'm glad I don't have to fight y'all for them. Then, oh my god, I'm talking too slow. We're like 12 minutes in. I got this fun handmade little piece that's gonna be turned into something. And these chains to go with my other chains to make stuff. And the rest of this super gaudy rich lady piece. Oh yeah, dude. Something cool is gonna be happening here. What is this like one piece of hair? It's like, okay. Sorry, I got too excited. Ha 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 ha. The Independent School District. It's from the treasure of the Independent School District. We don't have Independent School Districts anymore. Biatches. It's all federalized now, unfortunately. Wow. And a bunch of really cool old ephemera. From the town of Granger, Iowa. And... The first day out of October 1921, the treasurer in the Independent School District, Dallas County, Iowa, will pay to the bearer two and fifty hundred dollars at Bankers Mortgage Company, Des Moines, Iowa, for interest due that day of school. Building bond of said district dated April 1st, 1920. That is officially. Antique IRA from Wilson Hardware Store. School treasure envelope. And paycheck. Like an invoice for a contractor from 1915. Really? Thank y'all for showing all that respect. Glitter and cards and stuff to make more crafts. And glittery cards and stuff to make more crafts. And more craft stuff. And my favorite part, besides the dancing babies probably. This is really awesome box that it all came in. With the shells. Because that's gonna go with the style of my room. They're gonna hear you pouring the thing of cereal, so you might as well just go ahead and not try to sneak do it. It's just gonna take longer. I guess I'm gonna edit this or not. I told him exactly what I was doing too. Recording. Yep. But at least it's not live. You can edit it. <laughs> not editing. And the froggies. Oh my God! There's three of them. Spotted toad. Glass green frog. And the like majolicky looking. 1970s brown and green looking frog. 
obsessed. I'm not fine with this. He still thinks I'm gonna edit this and I'm not. That was a really long unboxing from Thrift G. I might have to break this video into two parts. In which I won't be editing all the noise my dad's making in the kitchen. So let me just put this all away while well, it makes the noise and then I'll cut the video for part two. It's currently 12.41. Do you know how late I stayed up waiting for this man to go to bed knowing he has to go to work tomorrow? So that I could turn down his full blast TV and make a video. I asked him when he was going to bed like 33 times. He said, I don't know. Do you have to go to work tomorrow? It was, yes, all night. Then around 11.30 it was, I don't know. What if the weather's bad? Yeah, I don't know how Drake crazy he drives me. I can't. It's like that thing where you pat your head and rub your stomach. Okay. His arms gotta go up and down and hers gotta go side it. No, nope, my brain won't do it. And so I cannot. This is as far as everything fits back into the box. So I would like to thank Sam and Sarah over at Thrift You. Michelle. Over at Comfy Cozy Living, if you haven't checked her out, she is a marathon runner and hilarious and funny and sweet. And of course, the funniest award goes to Miss Pamela Blanchard and Kelly. I think Kelly is going to strangle this woman and the pizza story and the garage sale story. Part two of my unboxing will come out, I guess, tomorrow, tomorrow, which will be today's now Thursday, so Friday. And then I'll have to have a live sale preview Sunday. My live sale will be at 8 p.m. Central Time Sharp on Monday. Come if you like, stay if you like, or don't come or stay. Bye.